In this video, I'm going to show you how to multiply a mixed number by a whole number and vice versa. And I'm going to show you two methods of doing it. So in the first half of the video, I'm going to focus on the first method and in the second half, the second method if you're interested. So let's multiply 4 and 2 fifths by 6. So in the first method, what I'm going to do is convert this into an improper fraction. So what you need to do is multiply 4 and 5, which is 20, and then add 2. The denominator will remain the same. This won't change. So 4 and 2 fifths is the same as 22 over 5. So now we need to multiply 22 over 5 by 6, or 6 over 1. And so we need to multiply across. So 22 times 6. 2 times 6 is 12, carry over the 1. 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1. So that's 13. So 22 times 6 is 132. So this is equal to 132 over 5. Now, how can we convert 132 over 5 back to a mixed number? We need to use long division. How many times does 5 go into 13? 5 goes into 13 2 times. 5 times 2 is 10, and 13 minus 10 is 3 and then we need to bring down a 2. Now how many times does 5 go into 32? 5 goes into 32 6 times. 5 times 6 is 30, and the difference is 2. So our answer as a mixed number is going to be 26 and 2 fifths. So the 26, that's the whole number, and the remainder, which is 2, that's going to be the numerator of the mixed fraction. And so this is our answer, 26 and 2 fifths. Now let's work on another example. Let's multiply 3 and 2 fifths by 8. So let's convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. So it's going to be 5 times 3, which is 15, and then plus 2. So that's 17. So we're multiplying 17 over 5 by 8, or 8 over 1. Now what is 17? times 8. 17 is basically 10 plus 7. And so if you distribute 10 times 8 is 80, 8 times 7 is 56, and if you add these two you get 136. So 17 times 8 is 136, and 5 times 1 is 5. So now let's convert this improper fraction back into a mixed number. So how many times does 5 go into 13. We know it's 2. 5 times 2 is 10. 13 minus 10 is 3. And then bring down the 6. How many times does 5 go into 36? 5 goes into 36 7 times. 5 times 7 is 35, and we get a remainder of 1. So this fraction is equal to 27 and 1 fifth. And so that's the answer for the second example. For the sake of practice, let's try two more example problems. So let's multiply 7 by 5 and 1 fourth. Feel free to pause the video and try this problem. So let's convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. So we're going to keep the denominator the same, and then we're going to multiply 5 and 4, which is 20, and then we're going to add 1 to it. So we have 21. And 7, we're going to write that as 7 over 1. Now let's multiply 21 by 7. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. So this is going to give us 147. And then 4 times 1 is 4. So now let's convert 147 over 4 into a mixed number. So let's use long division. How many times does 4 go into 14? 4 goes into 14 3 times. 4 times 3 is 12. If we tried 4, 4 times 4 is 16, and that exceeds 14, so we can't use that. 14 minus 12 is 2. Bringing down to 7, we have 27. Now, how many times does 4 go into 27? 4 goes into 27 6 times. 4 times 6 is 24, and so the remainder is 3. So our final answer is going to be 
36 and 3 fourths. So that's it. Now let's multiply 9 and 3 and 5 eighths. So let's begin by converting the mixed number into an improper fraction. So the denominator will stay the same, and then we need to multiply 3 by 8. 3 times 8 is 24. 24 plus 5 is 29. So now we need to multiply 9 by 29. One way you could do this is you could think of 29 as 30 minus 1, and then distribute. What's 9 times 30? 9 times 3 is 27. So 9 times 30 is 270. And 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. So this is going to be 261. So we have 261 over 8. Now let's go ahead and convert that into a mixed number. So let's use long division. How many times does 8 go into 26? So we know that 8 goes into 26 three times. 8 times 3 is 24, and 26 minus 24 is 2. Now let's bring down the 1. How many times does 8 go into 21? It goes into 21 2 times, 8 times 2 is 16, and the difference between 21 and 16 is 5. So our answer is going to be 32 and 5 eighths. Now let's go over the same four examples, but using another method. So let's start with the first problem. 4 and 2 fifths times 6. Now we can expand a mixed number and write it this way. We can write it as a whole number plus a fraction. So that's 4 plus 2 fifths and then multiply that by 6. So let's distribute. 4 times 6 is 24. And then we can multiply 2 over 5 times 6 which is the same as 2 over 5 times 6 over 1. And so 2 times 6 is 12, 5 times 1 is 5. So we have 24 plus 12 over 5. Now this is an improper fraction. And so I'm going to break it down into two other fractions. 12 over 5, I'm going to write that as 10 over 5 plus 2 over 5. The reason being is 10 is the highest multiple of 5, just under 12. And so this will produce a proper fraction. Now 10 divided by 5 is 2. And 24 plus 2 is 26. So I get 26 plus 2 over 5, which is 26 and 2 fifths. So that's another way in which you can get the same answer. Now let's do the same thing with the second example. So let's begin by expanding the mixed number as a whole number and a fraction. And 8, I'm going to write that as 8 over 1. So 3 times 8, we know that's 24. And then 2 fifths times 8, or 2 times 8, that's 16. 5 times 1 is 5. Now, how should we decompose that fraction? What is the highest multiple of 5 under 16? So multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20. So I want to use 15. So I'm going to write 16 over 5 as 15 over 5. And then if you take the difference between 16 and 15, 16 minus 15 is 1. So the missing fraction is 1 over 5. So now we can divide 15 by 5. And that's going to give us 3. And then we can combine 24 plus 3. 24 plus 3 is 27. So it's 27 plus 1 over 5, which is 27 and 1 fifth. And so that is the answer. So let's work on a third example. And you could pause the video if you want to try it. So I'm going to multiply directly. 7 times 5 is 35. And then it's going to be 7 times 1 fourth. And you can think of the 7 as 7 over 1 times 1 fourth. And so 7 times 1 is 7. And then 1 times 4 is 4. 
Now 7 over 4, I need to write that as 4 over 4 plus 3 over 4. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. So I have 35 plus 1 plus 3 over 4. And then I need to combine 35 and 1, which is 36. So the final answer is going to be 36 and 3 over 4. And that is it for this problem. Now let's work on the last example. 9 times 3 and 5 eighths. So let's multiply directly. 9 times 3 is 27. And then 9 times 5 over 8. So first we're going to multiply 9 and 5. So that's going to give us 45. And then 1 times 8, which is 8. Now what is the highest multiple of 8 under 45? So multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. 48 is too much, so we're going to use 40. So I'm going to break down 45 over 8 as 40 over 8 plus something else. 45 minus 40 is 5, so the missing fraction is 5 over 8. So now we could simplify this fraction. 40 divided by 8 is 5. And then we can add these two. 27 plus 5 is 32. And so this gives us the final answer of 32 and 5 eighths.